So the first method we have here is a very simple, but also usually very painstaking process that we call the brute force method, where essentially what we do is check every potential Hamilton circuit and find the one that is the best, the cheapest or most expensive, depending on what optimum means for a given model. So what we want to do here is model the problem with a weighted graph, then make a list of all possible Hamilton circuits, then determine the sum of the weights of the edges for each of the circuits, and pick the one that has the minimum. So let's get an example seeing how this can work. So for the given weighted graph, we want to use the brute force method to find an optimal Hamiltonian circuit. Hamilton circuit, excuse me. Where for this, because we are looking at a complete weighted graph on four vertices, we're going to have three factorial or six options, like we discussed earlier, that we're going to compare, where they are going to follow those patterns we saw earlier as well. We have the A, B, C, D, A version, which has weights 190, 126, 179, and 157 for a total cost of $652. We have the A, B, D, C, A version, which has 190, 155, 179, and 124 for a total cost of $648. Then we have the A, C, B, D, A version, which is 124, 126, 155, and 157 for a total of $562. And from there, we have the A, C, D, B, A option, which is 124, 179, 155, and 190 for a total of 648. A, D, B, C, A, 157, 155, 126, 124 for 562 again. And then finally, A, D, C, B, A, for 157, 179, 126, and 190 for a total of 652, with a nice little bookend there, which we can see would give us two potential optima. Either we have the route A, C, B, D, A, for a total of $162, or excuse me, $562, which is 162 for all those locations, it'd be pretty cheap. Or we can do A, D, B, C, A for again a total of $562. Where this method is guaranteed to work, but it is also guaranteed to be a lot of work. And we're going to finish this section talking about a method that's not guaranteed to work, but usually gets a decent approximate and at the very least is a bit more reasonable in terms of the amount of time it can take.